Hi guys, I'm Sophie, you're watching Psych2Go, to Go, and today I'm going to be talking to you about what actually happens to our brains when we kill. I first came up with this video because I thought, well it's October, it's spooky month, and you always get stories of murder during spooky month. I mean, look at like this big clown film that's just like hit up the internet. So yeah, let's just get on cracking. To start off with, there seems to be a difference in studies between ki psychologically killing someone who you believe to be guilty and someone who you believe to be innocent. Well, today I'm going to be talking to you about Pascal Mollenberg, who's a psychologist who actually studied this. Pascal got 48 participants for this study and asked them all to watch three scenarios in which one was a soldier killing an, an enemy soldier, one was a soldier killing an innocent, and one was just a soldier shooting and not actually hurting anyone. While watching these, which were actually shot from the soldier's point of view, the participants were put under PET scans to actually monitor their brain activity um, while doing it. At the end, each participant was asked, who did you shoot? And they were then given like three buttons, the soldier, a victim or nothing. And they were also asked to rate their guilt scale on a scale of one to seven. When participants actually imagine themselves shooting the civilians compared with the soldiers, greater activation was found in the lateral orbifrontal cortex, which is an important brain area for making moral decisions. Interestingly, the more guilt participants found about shooting civilians, the greater the response in the orbifrontal cortex was. Um, but when shooting soldiers, there's actually no um, activation in that sector at all. But when killing civilians, the fusiform gyrex was more active, telling us that participants were actually studying the facial expressions on the faces of the victims and which in turn was actually humanising them. However, this wasn't really active during when the participants were killing soldiers. Instead, the um, lingual gyrus was more active, which basically meant they were justifying killing someone instead of... your brain was trying to justify killing someone instead of actually humanising them and telling us that actually this is wrong, which is what they were doing for when the civilians were being shot. With the new information we've gathered, we can actually understand why people become desensitised to violence and actually why they kill, which can help psychologists and criminologists prevent and predict people from doing so before they actually kill. In summary, Dr Mollenberg actually said these findings show that when a person is responsible for what they see is justified or unjustified, they'll have a different response and feelings associated with that. So yeah, that's it for today. That's me done, and this is psych to go so please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoyed, and see you.